1,877 students from 70 schools are registered for the final component of the Caribbean Primary Exit Assessment Exam, which got on the way today at 54 centers throughout Grenada, Caricou, and Piti Martinique. Of the 1,877 students, 1,030 are males and 847 females. Comparatively, in 2022, 1,840 students were registered, comprising 955 males and 849 females. Minister for Education David Andrew, in an interview this morning, said that teachers and staff at the ministry were up early to ensure everything is in place for the exam. Um, preparing the, the scripts even in the wee hours of this morning, they had to be up because we take it for granted that it's, the scripts, they had to be dropped off sometime this morning. And so my officers, compliments to them in the exams unit, uh, they were up since morning getting the scripts to various locations across the island, west, all over to ensure that the, the integrity of the exams are not compromised because they had to be dropped. The CPEA exams is intended to test the literacy of students exiting the primary school system and consists of four multiple choice papers in mathematics, language, art, science and the social studies. The exam is open to all students who are 11 years old on or before September 1st. Minister Andrew explains that students were previously graded in other assignments and this will contribute to their results on the final exam. In most cases... Students who they must have had the opportunity to perform well. They had peer-graded assignments, they had projects, group work. All of those contributed and are contributing to the final grade. But this is just the, the terminal element that you, know, you have to sit as a summative form of examination, but they had many formative uh, elements of assessment all the way through. And we want to commend our teachers for the dedication. We know teachers take this seriously. Personally, many of them have given classes um, on their own time, freely, without charge, probably for one week during periods within the last holiday period. Principal of the St. George's Anglican Senior School, Nigel De Gale, in speaking to our news team this morning, explains some of the challenges faced while preparing the students for the exam. The process of continuous assessment is good because children can work and get the best mark to be recorded. And that, that is a long process, but sometimes the children are their own enemy. They refuse to do the, 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 the work. They refuse to do it over, etc. And the parents now must come on board, especially when we have projects to do, and they leave it up to the teachers. So um, the challenge with the parental assistance is big. Um, many of them are too busy even to make breakfast for the children, so they will buy a pen cool in the morning. So um, we need all on board because the ministry is doing its part, the teachers are doing their part, the parents and the students must do their part. The assessment commences at 9 a.m. on both days and all students are expected to finish the exam by 12.15 p.m. The team at GBN joins many others in extending best wishes to the students sitting this year's exam. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting.